So they want to know uh, the point of intersection of y equals 2 root x and its inverse. And with multiple choice, you can do this really fast. Because if you think about it, uh, an inverse function inverts the x and the y. It switches inverts the x and the y. And so if when you switch x and y, uh, you're supposed to get the same um, uh, solution, don't the x and y have to be the same? So any function in its inverse uh, will intersect uh, with the x and the y being the same. So we're thinking our answer is going to be C. Uh, and you can also tell like this uh, function in its inverse will be nice and symmetric over the uh, line y equals x. So the only place that they can meet is on that line y equals x. So the x and the y value should be the same. But let's just do it anyway for practice and we'll verify it. So uh, if I want to find, um, so I can do this just step by step. I want the intersection of that and its inverse. So I'll find the inverse first and I'll set the two functions equal to each other to find their intersection. So to find the inverse, it's a switch and sum. You take the x and the y and switch them. So instead of saying y equals 2 root x, I'll say x equals 2 root y. So I made the switch and now I'll solve for y. So I can divide both sides by 2, and then I can square both sides, so I'll get x squared over 4 equals y. And so this is my inverse function, and so if I want to find out where this meets that, I want to find out where those y values equal each other. So I'm going to set x squared over 4 equal to 2 root x, and now I just for this uh, intersection. So I multiply by both sides by 4, and let's see, what else can I do? Maybe I can square both sides again. So I have x to the 4th equals 64x, squaring both of those. Then anytime I have a power that's bigger than 1, I, my goal is to set it equal to 0. I'll correct this. Goal is to set it equal to 0 and try to factor it, so I'll take an x out first, just the greatest common factor, and hmm, let's see. So this part here, I could keep factoring because um, I do know how to factor this. It's just a, a difference of cubes. So I have uh, they're both cubes, and then it's uh, x squared. Um, multiply those two together with the sign flip and square the left, so plus 16. And so that's your factoring of your sum in different cubes. Had a whole video on those if that was too fast. So either this equals zero, if this turns this turns this equals zero, then either x equals zero, or x minus four equals zero, or this equals zero. Uh, so x could be four, uh, or x could be 0. This part here will never equal 0. This part here always has imaginary parts. Once you're done with that um, factoring of cubes, you can prove that this part will always have imaginary um, solutions. Uh, this was, if you wanted to, you could also just at this point say that this times this equals 0, then either x equals 0 or x cubed equals 64, and this would get you just the pure you can take the cube root and get 4, and you miss the fact that there are two imaginaries, but you don't care about the imaginaries anyway because we're dealing with a graph. Uh, so if x is 4, that's one of them. It looks like it also meets at x equals 0, 2, but that's not an answer here. Uh, they just want 80 points, not all of the points apparently. So x is 4, just plug that back into either of these y's to get the uh, other coordinate, and so you'll get 2 root 4, so 2 times 2 is 